This is the Bielovezha Forest in Belarus, and history is about to be made here. It's December 1991, and three leaders are coming to this dacha to sign an agreement to dissolve the Soviet Union. It's signed by Russian President Boris Yeltsin, Ukrainian President Leonid Kravchuk, and the chairman of the Belarusian Parliament, Stanislav Shushkevich. In an interview with RFERL, he recalled what led to the Bielovezha Accords. The Soviet Union was a long time before us, after the Zhivin Putsch. But the fact that the threat of the Yugoslav variant was a fact. There had been demonstrations for independence in Belarus for months. The Soviet Union was in turmoil following the failed coup in August, and nearly all of the Soviet republics, including Belarus, had already declared independence. The treaty replaced the USSR with a new arrangement. Within a few weeks, other Soviet republics joined the new Commonwealth and the Soviet Union was dead. Shushkevich remained as leader of Belarus until 1994. He lost power to current president Alexander Lukashenko, who critics say destroyed democracy there. Это тяжкий временный период, переход от одной политической системы до другой. А выкорыстать это, сказать, что складанности за нового увидения, это вельми просто. Для этого не треба быть на вот разумным человеком, можно быть таким, как Лукашенко, и сказать, что это все погубили демократы. Today, now aged 81, Shushkevich leads a quiet life in a comfortable apartment in central Minsk. But he still travels widely, speaking on the events that made history 25 years ago. Belarus achieved independence. It's still waiting for democracy.